This video lesson is about renaming fractions to decimal numbers. So in my previous lessons, if you want to know the vice versa for this topic, just click on the suggested video above. So decimal is a number whose whole number part and the fractional part is separated by a decimal point, as you can see on my screen. So the whole number part is the before the decimal point and the fractional part is after the decimal point. And in this lesson, I will show you the steps on renaming fractions to decimal numbers. So first is to count the number of zeros in the denominator. And second, if the zeros is 1, it tells us that there are 1 digit after the decimal point. And if the zeros is 2, it tells us that there are 2 digits after the decimal point. So if you want to know on how to rename fractions to decimal, so let's try my example number one so i have here 35 over 100 so i have the steps on the screen so first count the number of zeros in the denominator so in my example the zeros on the denominator are one and two it, there are two zeros on my example. So proceed to step two. So if the zeros is, is one, it tells us that there are one digit after the decimal point. And if the zeros is two, it tells us there are two digits after the decimal point. But, but in my example, there are two zeros on my uh, denominator. So we're going to proceed on the if the zeros is 2, it tells us that there are 2 digits after the decimal point. So that my answer will be 0 0.35. As you can see, there are 2 uh, digits after the decimal point, which is 3 and 5. There are 2 digits after the decimal point because there are 2 zeros on my denominator on the fractional form. Okay, let's proceed to my example number 2. So, I have here 8 over 10. So, first, count the number of zeros in the denominator. So, in my denominator, there are 1 zeros in my example. So, proceed to step 2. If the zeros is 1, it tells us that there are digits that are decimal point. And if the zeros is 2, it tells us that there are 2 digits after the decimal point. So in my example, again, there are 1, 0. So that, we're going to proceed on the if the zeros is 1, it tells us that there are 1 digit after the decimal point. So my answer for this is 0 0.8. So as you can see, there are only 1 digit after the decimal point because there are one zero on my denominator so let's try to my example number three so i have six over 100 so first count the number of zeros in the denominator so in my example there are one and two zeros on my denominator and so try to step two if the zeros is one if the zeros is one it tells us that there are one digit after the decimal point and if the zeros is two it tells us that there are two digits after the decimal point so in my example there are two zeros so let's proceed if the zeros is two it tells us that there are two digits after the decimal point so my answer for this example is 0 0.06 so as you can see there are, there are two digits after the decimal point which is 0 and 6 if you notice that there are only one digits on the 
numerator, we're going to add 0 as a placeholder of the tenths place. So that the answer for this example is 0 0.06 because there are two zeros on the uh, denominator of my example. So if there are a missing number on the numerator, just add 0 for the place holder of the other number. So let's try or you try on a piece of paper or anything that you can write the answer for the example. So first, write each fraction in decimal point. So I'll give you a 20 seconds for this uh, activity. So 20 seconds starts now. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Time is up. So I will show you my answer and compare with your answer if it is correct or not. So my answer for my for number one is. 0 0.8 0 0.8 there is only one digit after the decimal point because there is only one zero on my denominator number two 0 0.27 there are two digits after the decimal point because there are two zeros on my denominator number three 0 0.3 Number four, 0 0.02. Number five, 0 0.44. As you can see on my uh, number four, 0 0.02, there are two digits after the decimal point because there are two zeros after the, uh, there are two zeros on my denominator. So, did you learn something today? And did you get the correct answer for the five samples? Congrats! You finished the lesson today!